Welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Review. So today, I'm extremely happy to bring you guys my review of Trini Girl, the new fragrance by Nicki Minaj. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and is Nicki's eighth fragrance. So according to um, kind of the media of this, the fragrance is described, um, Trini Girl excludes Nicki's passion for her Caribbean roots in addition, exemplifying her confidence and dedication for female empowerment. Trini Girl reinforces Nikki's signature style and offers her fans a tribute to her heritage and a testament to never forget um, your beginning and always follow your dreams. So this one is Nikki's, like I said, eighth fragrance and is technically a new pillar for her. Um, it seems like after Midnight to the Exotic, all of them were new pillars. We didn't get a spinoff to Onika and we didn't get a spinoff to the Pink Print. So Trini Girl in itself is a brand new fragrance. So the box looks like this, and it says Trini Girl in this kind of pink stripe across the front, which has got a border of gold on top and bottom. And they've got kind of these gold reflective, almost scale-like design on the front of the box. It is bright green or bright gold on the sides, and it says Trini Girl on both sides. The bottom just has that. The back has this ad of Trini Girl, and it says Trini Girl Nicki Minaj, and it's got the bottle standing right there. The bottle looks like this this time, and I love that we did a tinted bottle this time. The color of this bottle is amazing. Um, very, very, I'm going to decapitate her really quick. Very vibrant, very bright. I love that we went with a colored bottle um, instead of the previous ones where they uh, were, you know, a frosted clear bottle. Except for kind of uh, Pink Friday, the original one, which it was tinted on the bottom with her. Um, and then you obviously with Pink Friday Deluxe Edition had um, the gold body. So I really, really like that they went and did a uh, colored glass on it this time. I forgot to grab a little smelly thingy. Um, the head is the same head that is on Deluxe Edition. Um, which is the same head that is on Pink Friday and Pink Friday Special Edition. Um, but it, same black hair, same lip color, which I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is what it is. The body looks like this, so you've got that same kind of um, scale design on the brassiere, and then you kind of got like this belt across here that's almost reminding of almost an animal print, but it isn't at the same time. Um, it's very different and very cool, very kind of Caribbean, very. Uh, exotic and wild in my opinion is kind of what I get from this. So the notes for Trini Girl are top notes are lychee, blood orange sabay, and tart quince. Middle notes are the shakoya flower which is the Trinidadian national flower. Apple blossom and dewy leaves. The base notes are modern woods, white musk, and coconut cream. So I really will say I was surprised by this fragrance. When you first spray it I get a very, it's very, very fruity when you first, first spray it. I definitely get the lychee, the quince, and a little bit of the, um, orange sorbet. Um, it's not super orangey and clean, which I really do like about it. Um, as it dries to dry down, it gets a little bit of a cleanness to it. But initially, it is not very clean with that orangey, citrusy scent. It is very... Tart quince and that lychee are really kind of there. You can really, really smell them. Um, as it starts to dry down, you can get the shakoya flower, which kind of adds that little bit of a spiciness to this fragrance. As it starts to dry down, it isn't super, super spicy. If I was forced to compare this fragrance to another Nicki Minaj fragrance, I would say it would be closest to Pink Friday Deluxe Edition. But even that, it is just the dry down that I get that similarity, but it's not saying that it is at all, because it definitely is not. Definitely very different from anything Nikki's done. Still very fruity, floral, um, but is definitely got a little bit of a spice to it that is reminiscent to the kind of the spiciness that is in Pink Friday Deluxe Edition. Um, I get that almost aquatic note from the dewy leaves, and the apple blossom also kind of adds a refreshingness to the floral heart. Um... It isn't overly floral, but it is very pretty and clean, and I feel like 
the apple note, like the apple blossom almost gives a little bit of an apple-y to it as well. Um, but definitely very fruity, very vivacious, intoxicating, exotic. Definitely words to describe this fragrance. Um, I feel like it starts to dry down. You get the modern woods, you get the white musk, and you definitely get a little bit of the coconut cream. It's not super coconutty, um, but I definitely get a little bit of the, it's more of a cream, um, coconut. But it's still very fruity and very, um, tropical at the same time. Um, and I don't want to say tropical like sunscreen and whatnot. Very tropical and exotic. Um, and the fact that, like, the fruitiness to it is just very summer-like and very intoxicating. Um, I've worn this to work the last few days and it has been amazing. Um, people at work have really, really liked it. So that is a good thing. Um kind of getting their opinions on it as well. And it's just a really, really nice fragrance. Um, lasting power, I get about six to eight hours on this fragrance. It is kind of one of the lo longer lasting Nikki fragrances, in my opinion. Um, it isn't the longest lasting out of hers, but it isn't, it definitely is not the least lasting, in my opinion. Um, I would definitely would say this is a more spring and summertime fragrance. Um, definitely a daytime fragrance. I could see this being a kind of a fruity nighttime fragrance though, um, for more of the fall and winter time. But I definitely could see this being some of the signature scent. It's a very easy fragrance um, to wear. It's very safe. I don't feel like this is a fragrance that could get super offensive. Um, I feel like you could spray a lot on it and still not be overly offensive. Um, I can definitely see it layering and building up though, so you might want to watch how much you spray, just because I feel like if you were to spray a lot, um, it would get almost a little bit loud and especially when it starts to dry down and gets a sequoia flower which starts to add a little bit of spiciness to this fragrance it doesn't it definitely does get a little bit more loud as it starts to dry down um if i had to layer this into nikki's lineup i would definitely say it's either second or third in my favorites for her exotic being my favorite nikki minaj fragrance that it's very very hard to beat that um definitely i really really like this fragrance i like it a lot more than i was expecting to um, when I first heard the notes, I was kind of torn because I really, really like that top. Um, but some of the notes in the, like, I was a little bit afraid with the coconut. I'm not a huge coconut fan, as you guys know. Um, I don't hate coconut, but it has to be done right, and it was done amazing in this fragrance. I really, really like the way that it was done. It isn't, like, island coconutty and something. I'm not a huge coconut fan, like I said. So I was really wor worried about that, and normally with me, if I don't like a note in a fragrance, I pull that note out a whole lot more, and I'm not getting that out of this at all. Um, like I said, it was more of a cream coconut than a coconut, um, like a straight-up coconut, which I really like because it kind of smooths out the base um, with that wood and the musk to kind of ease it off. Um, definitely, like I said, my second or third favorite Nicki Minaj fragrance and I could see this one doing really, really well in her lineup. Um, with it being called Trini Girl, so it, obviously it pays homage to Trinidad, where Nikki is from. And I really, really liked um, that she did this fragrance because it. I just liked that she, the whole message behind it and the fact that it's, you know, female empowerment and paying homage to your roots and, you know, remember where you came from because when you, you know, grow from that, um, to always look back and, you know, obviously Nikki is a huge success and it's great to know that she's still kind of holds roots. Um, I definitely see this being South African, you know, South American, uh, not South African, but South American in that kind of tropically vibe. Um, I don't feel like you get as much coconut there. I feel like that's more Hawaii. I feel like as you get more towards South America, you've got like the lush florals and the really ripe and exotic fruits, and which is definitely what I get out of this. So if you like the fruit of your fragrances, you'll definitely really like this one. Um, I definitely feel like if you weren't a huge fan of the pink print, um, that this is definitely a recovery, in my opinion, um, if you didn't like that one. The pink print appealed to a different audience for Nikki's fans, and I feel like this one kind of reverts back to kind of where she was going with the fruitiness of her other fragrances, and I feel like that's what a lot of her fans really enjoyed. So I feel like this one is kind of bridging the gap from what the fruity ones were to what the pink print was. Um, it kind of bridges that in-between gap and, you know, creates a consistency through all Nikki's fragrances. So, 
As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. There is my review of Nicki Minaj's Training Girl. As always, guys, follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. That is where you guys will always find out about fragrances first. Um, as soon as I'm out, as soon as I post them there, um, you guys will find out there. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.